Welcome to the Apprenticeship Certificates England online video training. In this short video, you'll learn how to add an apprentice record to ACE and make a successful claim by avoiding common errors. On the dashboard, select the relevant body by clicking on their logo. Each body area will only show the apprentice records linked to it. Within each body area, there is a series of tabs. To add an apprentice, click on the Add Apprentice button which opens a new blank record. For new ACE records, you need to complete the required fields on the Basic Information, Employer Details and Identifier tabs. The Basic Information tab contains all the personal details about the apprentice. It's important that you complete all the mandatory fields. These are marked with an asterisk. Common areas for rejection on this tab include misspelt or different first or surnames. Check that the names entered on ACE match those on any uploaded achievement evidence. Sometimes, the date of birth entered on ACE doesn't match the date of birth on uploaded achievement evidence. A claim can also be rejected if the last date in learning entered doesn't match that on the apprentice's consent form. Another common error is that the apprentice signs and dates the form before the last date in learning. The apprentice date of signing must be on or after the last date in learning. Any differences between names or date of birth must be explained and supported by appropriate additional evidence. For more information, please access our Acceptable Evidence Guidance tool. It's advisable to double-check all information input to avoid errors and inconsistency between information on ACE and that on uploaded evidence. This will prevent the record being rejected when checked by the body. Remember, data input errors are very common. Moving on to the Employer tab, it's important that you provide accurate information relating to the apprentice's employer. Don't enter the details of the training provider, unless they are also the employer. If this is the case, please add a note to the record. You can do this by returning to the Basic Information tab and adding a note in the Notes field. The employer contact must be the person who has responsibility for the apprentice in their workplace. The employer's email address is mandatory. We will not routinely contact them, but sometimes there may be a reason why we need to. When it comes to the Identifiers tab, you'll see that the apprentice's national insurance number is mandatory. The NI number must belong to the named apprentice and be in the correct format. If ACE's built-in validation tells you that there is a problem with the NI number entered, please contact our support team. Once you've completed the Apprentice Basic Information, Employer Details and Identifiers tabs, Click the Create Item button to save the record and a unique ACE number will automatically be assigned. If you have had to previously add a note because the training provider was also the employer, you should now also add an additional note in the Status tab which has now appeared. This will be saved in the Status History Audit trail. An alternative to adding new apprentice records individually is to use the Apprentice Data Bulk Upload facility. You can find out more about using this function by reading the user guide, which can be found in the Knowledge Base section of the ACE website. In the next video, we will show you the next steps in completing an apprentice record to get it ready for submission.